On today's episode, I'll show you how I made a 3D printing workbench that actually folds down so I'm not tempted to put junk on it. And I used a few 3D prints in the process. I'll explain it all on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. I started with this wall-mounted bench that I found on Amazon and I loved it because it actually folds down. It includes the custom brackets and all the hardware to mount it. My table saw worked great to hold the bench while I worked on mounting the brackets. I used my stud sensor to find out where the studs were in the wall. And then I measured and transferred those measurements to the bench top so I could line up the brackets. I pre-drilled the holes for the screws that mount the bracket to the bench top. I did that on both sides and then I could shoot the screws. One at the front, one at the back, and then there's actually one in the middle on both brackets. Once that was done, I put the levers back down and this thing was ready to mount. I used two 2x4s two on each side and this thing was the perfect height for me. I shot one screw, made sure it was level, and then shot a screw on the other side. I flipped down the levers and then there was two more screws to mount it to the wall. This makes it very solid. There's a total of six screws, three on each side, and they come with the kit. I removed the 2x4s and then slid out my table saw and this thing was ready to test. So there's a lever you push on both sides. Press those two and this thing goes right down and pops right back in place when you lift it. I used an electrical strip, but the way the plug was, I had to mount it upside down like this. And it mounts on the ends, where there's unfortunately no stud. So I had to create these brackets to hold it at the studs, and I couldn't put one in the middle because of the plug. So I measured it, and then I went to Tinkercad and made this bracket. So then I printed two of them on my Ender 2 Pro using my extra fast profile, and they came out great. Just four screws, two on the top, and then two on the bottom should hold this thing pretty tight. After I screwed it in place, it was solid. I like to have pegboard above my bench and I found this one at my local hardware store. I did find this on Amazon and it comes with these unique mounts. Instead, I found these other mounts, but I thought I can just 3D print those things, so I did. I 3D printed a bunch of them, but then I found they didn't work. As this Amazon reviewer said, you have to get behind the pegboard to put the spacers on, which isn't easy to do. So I went back to Tinkercad and designed my own that actually stick into the pegboard and stay. Just like this. You push it in and it holds. And then it's flushed to the front and the screw covers it up. Once again I use my Kira Extra Fast Profile and these things are going to be hidden so they're perfect. I lined up the pegboard, found the center stud, and then I marked that onto the pegboard so I knew where to put the mounts. I printed a bunch of them with leftover filament. I could have used black but they get covered up anyway pushed them in place, and now this thing was ready to mount. I used two of them to offset it from the bench, grabbed some screws, and this thing was ready to screw into the wall. I screwed the first one, made sure it was level, and then just went to every mount and put a screw in place. Now I get to put in a bunch of pegboard hooks, and for that I wanted this print. This locks the pegboard hooks in place so they don't fly out like this. You snap it in place and it holds the hook. A few years ago for Filament Friday, I designed these pegboard mounted socket holders. I use green for the metric and black for the English. This does make it easier to fix 3D printing issues and I'll probably use this bench for other things too. When I'm done, I just fold it away and now it's nice and clean, ready for the next 3D printer. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, click on that Patreon logo. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time, right here at Filament Friday.